So again, under the RDS Safe Practices, three knots that any authorized, uh, cert certified authorized has to uh, use is a figure eight, alpine butterfly, and a stopper knot. And the uh, a figure eight is really what we call our anchor knot. That's what we're gonna attach our anchor to. So what I do is I make a bite, and there's several ways to tie these. You can, it's not mandatory that you do it my way. Just wanna show you how I do it. I basically take the bite in my hand, I throw it over twice and come up through the hole and we end up with an eight, nicely dressed eight. We wanna keep that bite no bigger than our hand and uh, make sure that uh, that eight lays flat in the hand. And then what we can do here is we can attach a carabiner. That's why we might call it an anchor knot and that's gonna hold us there. We wanna talk about now rope protection. It's very important because uh, protecting the ropes here uh, is really uh, when we, if we see accidents, uh, oftentimes we'll see the ropes not being protected. We see a mainline sever. And so we wanna uh, make sure that the ropes are protected. Now, in the industry, a lot of guys use a piece of carpet. And uh, the, what the good thing is it's easy to find, right? But the bad thing with carpet is it's not really held in position anyway. And what can happen is, is as these ropes move, either it comes off the carpet or the carpet goes away, maybe when you're going over uh, so if you're going to use carpet, you want it there, that's one thing, but uh, we really like to have an actual rope protector on it. Uh, these ones here, they actually have a little clip here that hold it in place so I can get it where I want to and then I clip it on the rope and now that's going to stay there. It's not going to move. And as I go over the rope, then it's going to uh, protect here on this edge. And the other thing that we want to make sure of is both ropes are protected. Sometimes we'll see that the main line's protected, but the safety is not. So if we ever did have the main line sever for whatever reason, that this line, whatever cut this one, would be dangerously close and it's not protected. So we want both ropes protected uh, in a, when we go over, again, just clip that there. And now that's uh, in place as well. So we want to make sure always that both ropes are protected before we go over the edge. Thank <laughs> you.